What's up guys, it's your boy the Moan, and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today we're talking about 50, yes, 50 chests you probably missed. Shouts out to my guy Heaven for sending me all this information. Now let's get some XP. Now the first one is going to be here. You guys can hit this one if you guys utilize Amber. She can throw her doll, and if her doll explodes in the water, it'll activate that totem that you guys see there, which will result in a chest. This one you can find here next to Yao Going Shoal. Now the next one is going to be a little bit more tough to get. It's going to take some creativity. You're going to need water to activate this one. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can take this wind current all the way up here and then just dive bomb on top of it like this. Or you guys can just utilize ice sheet or main character's geo platform and stand on top of it and activate it with like a mona ult or something like that. Now this next one is one of my favorite, uh, and this one is going to take you guys over here to Tianqiu Valley, right in this area right here. You guys are going to be looking for the foot of the statue. You'll be able to mine this little spot right here, which will also give you a chest. Now I hope you guys like umbrellas, because that's going to be the next one, which will take us over here to this area right in front of Wing Shu Inn. Once you activate these slimes here, all you got to do is just kill these slimes. So if you haven't got this one next to the umbrellas, please make sure you guys grab this one too. Now this next one that you guys might have missed is on the other side of the mountain right over here. So if you guys are near Stone Gate or if, uh, if you want an easier way to get here, you guys can go through this inlet here right across from Dawn Winery and make your way up to this mountain. When you guys come down here, be sure to kill every enemy down here. There should be three chests here as well, two exquisite and one precious. The next one is a mineable chest that's here on this island right by Dehua Marsh. You guys can come right next to this tent and there should be a chest here as well. The next one is going to require you to have Geo main character. All you guys are going to do here, shouts out to the stream for pointing this one out to me, but you're just going to put a boulder on top of this dragon's head. I got this one already a little bit ago, but this should spawn a chest for you guys as well. Now the next one is going to be right here. This is actually one of my favorite. I forgot to get this one, but I, I, I remember this one from CBT2. But if you guys come to this part right here, you'll see that there's three stones on the map. You guys just use the Geo Hero, put a stone right here, and this should spawn a chest for you guys here as well. Now this one I'm sure a lot of you guys missed because I even missed this one. Uh... <laughs> It's going to be over here if you guys teleport to Guyun Stone Forest. And once you get next to the little dungeon here, you guys are just going to hop up this little wall right here and go through this hole. And there should be a chest right here for you guys. Now, the next one is very close by. Uh, should be some stands here that you guys should be able to kill. Uh, I apparently got this one already. But yeah, there should be like some little statuettes right here that you guys can kill and should spawn a chest right here on, on top. You can find this one right here. Now, this one is just ridiculous. I had no idea. I was really surprised, but you just like this fire here. <laughs> and uh, this one is here back in Monsat on this little lip off of the cliff here. And it unlocks a chest right here. The next one is close by. Shouts out again to the stream for pointing this one out to me. But there should be a fruit on top of this one. That if you grab the fruit off of the top of this, it will spawn a chest nearby as well. For those of you guys who want to see it on the map, it's right here. Now, for those of you guys who missed this one, like myself... <laughs> Just light this torch here, and you can get this chest. You can find this location right here in Mondstadt next to the Whispering Woods. This next one takes us back to Liyue, on top of this mountain right here, King Yun Peak. You guys will just want to run over here and just walk, and it literally should spawn a chest just from you stepping in this area. This one, another torch ladder in Mondstadt over here in Stormbearer Mountains. Another one I personally missed, you just have to light all three of these torches, and you get a chest here. This next one is going to take you guys to Thousand Winds Temple. But you guys will see a barrel that's out of place. You guys will want to make sure that you destroy this barrel. And it should spawn a chest here. Now here's one that I definitely miss. If you guys see these mounds of dirt over here. This is going to be a location right here. This kind of like little uh, shrubbery. You want to make sure you use somebody that can light these on fire. Amber's always a good choice. You can use Klee. But you're basically going to set this whole thing on fire. After you burn all those mounds up, an exquisite chest will spawn. Here's another one that I've already gotten. If you guys haven't lit the torches that are over here, close to Leeway Harbor, uh, you guys can go to this area, light these up, and get another chest. This next one is going to require a little bit of animal cruelty, as you'll have to kill these three squirrels here. So make sure you slay these guys. After you slay all three of these squirrels, um, a chest will spawn in this area here. This location is right here on Mount Alzheimer. Now, this next one is an invisible chest that I definitely miss, and you guys can find this one here right along the coastline, northwest of Dehua Marsh. 
Make sure you guys move around because the loot will also be invisible. So you guys definitely want to pick this up. Another one you guys might have missed is the chest that's right here. This is definitely a mineable. That one you guys can find right here on the ground next to the frogs. And if that one wasn't enough, you guys can come right here next to the actual bridge itself. And there's a mineable right behind it. Back to Yagoing Shoal. Brings us to this little bonfire here that you guys might have missed. And if you guys light that fire, it'll bring out a pyro mage. And after you slay him, a chest will spawn. Another one in plain sight involves you lighting all of these torches, and you guys can find that one here. After you light all the torches, be sure to kill the slimes, and the abyss mage that spawns, and a chest will appear. Another chest you may have missed could be right here, on this island over here, southeast of Windrise. There's a mineable chest right here that you guys can find as well. Another one you may have missed if you guys haven't killed this little turret here and the little monster that spawns from it. There's a chest right in this area southeast of the Archon statue in Yagoing Shell. Now this one I'm actually ashamed of myself for missing. But if you guys come down here to Stone Gate, you see this random sweet flower here? <laughs> There's a mineable chest in this area as well. You can find this one right here. This next one takes us to King Sea Village where you guys can see another leaf pile. <laughs> I can't believe these. I can't believe these guys. But if you light this leaf pile on fire, there's then a mineable spot, which will make a chest appear. You can find this one right here on the coastline in King Sea Village. Now this next one I know you guys found, which is going to be on this little island that you guys can see right here, north of uh, Guyun Stone Forest. When you get on this island, there's a couple of mineables here. One on the boat. And one over here that actually has a chest. Two of the mineables will be chests. The other two will just be enemies. The next one is on a staircase here in Juyun. Right in this area right here. You guys are looking for this little emblem on the stairs. Followed by another one in this area. I seem to have gotten this one, this one already. But what you guys are looking for in this area over here north of Wolvendom. Is you guys are looking for the, like the little explosive plants. And if you guys trigger all of those. It should spawn a chest here in this location. Another one you miss is probably in a bush. <laughs> right up here in Stone Gate, if you guys look at this area on the map, you guys will have to climb for this one. But if you hit that, there's an exquisite chest right here. Here we have another one that's close to the waypoint, uh, right outside of Mondstadt here. But if you trigger all these explosive plants here, you'll have to fight this little vine dude. And then another chest will spawn here. Another what the hell random chest is over here on top of this little mountain in Kingdom Peak. Just kind of glide down over here and you guys can mine this spot right here and get a chest. Uh, this next one is actually a chest that I've already gotten before. But you guys can find this between the bamboo stalks over here. It's also a pretty good mining spot as I have it marked on my map. You guys can see this here. But if you guys climb up through this little inlet here with this little waterfall. You guys can get some loot. And then of course if you stand between these trees there's a mineable chest here. If you guys haven't killed this plant guy over here in Stone Gate. You guys can knock this out as well. And there should be a chest that spawns here too. And last but not least guys, there is a spot over here that you guys can find. Right over here in Gilly Plains. Also a good spot to get some Violet Grass if you guys need it. But you'll need the Geo main character to drop a boulder here. And a chest should spawn right in the middle of this. But with that being said guys, uh, that concludes the video. Uh, there's a ton of chests that I didn't know about. Again, shouutouts out to my boy Heaven. Uh, he sent me this video on Billy Billy with a bunch of the chests listed. I threw in a couple of locations of my own um, where that weren't listed in the video that you guys definitely could find some chests if you guys haven't got those. Please be sure to use this video to find chests that you didn't find and let me know in the comment box how many chests this video helped you uncover because there was a ton as you guys can see in mind that I didn't even look for or, or, or catch or find or, and some that I didn't even know about. I thought this was pretty awesome. But with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.